Browns may not play until Sunday, but guess what? NFL kicks off tonight. Yes, and I'm sure lots of sports bets will be thrown down in the 12 states that offer it. Tonight in this News 5 original, John Kosick takes a closer look at whether Ohio is any closer to offering you the option. Like Ohio, Illinois does not yet offer legalized sports betting, but tonight's Bears Packers game at Soldier Field is going to play out just 14 and a half miles across the state border from the Horseshoe Casino in Hammond, Indiana, which just yesterday opened up its first legalized sports book as that state became this week the latest to offer legalized sports betting. And though the nearest place for Northeast Ohioans to legally place a sports bet in person is Presque Isle in Erie, PA, Pennsylvania, you'll remember, now offers mobile sports betting, which means you need only cross over the state line. And once your phone recognizes that you're in the Keystone State, you can place a bet on one of the many sports betting apps. In Ohio, the process is moving much slower. It's still not clear who should oversee sports betting, the Casino Control Commission, which is authority over the four casinos, or the Ohio Lottery, which regulates the seven racinos. Governor Mike DeWine supports the former, but there are questions over whether the state constitution would allow that. In addition, Governor DeWine told us this summer there are other things that need to be ironed out related to mobile betting, problem gamblers, and preventing underage gamblers. It's illegal to do, but if they've got an app and they do it on their iPhone, we have to figure out some way to protect that. So these are the, the kind of big picture questions that the legislature and the people of the state of Ohio, uh, frankly, are, are faced with now. And we're likely to see some movement this month as the legislature returns from their summer recess. John Kasich, News 5.